were in jail? We, we probably deserved it. But <laughs> no one's ever been thrown in some Tasmanly jail. It doesn't seem like a very crowded place. <laughs> Glad to see I didn't do any permanent damage. Thank you, Bronson. Thank you. Probably hopped up on E. Yeah, I'm kind of kind of face planted in the ground right now. Probably knocked out pretty well. Oh, gee, thanks. As a remembrance for my wife's untimely demise. Yeah, I'll put it on my shelf. It'll be great. Freaking Bronson. Now, all you really need to do to progress the plot is just check stuff. Check. Check. You have to check things. And, and something will eventually happen, I promise. No promise. Lock is rusted. How are we going to get out of here? Why would you need a table in prison, anyway? Oh, that... Is Klaus? Yeah, because he's, you know, little bitchy Klaus. I mean, Lucas. Klaus is cool. Oh, an apple? Cool. You know, since we're in jail, we gotta keep our nutrition up. You know, it might be trapped in the sky forever, and... That's the spirit! Eat the apple? Sure. Nom 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 nom. Tink. Yay, hand file. Hopefully Tasmuli has a dentist. Lock is rusted. Sure, why not? Breaking out of jail! Courtesy of Nintendo. That's wonderful sound effects there. It became unusable. How can you break out of jail with the hand file? Oh, sorry. But mm -hmm, broke out of jail! Well, let's go. Oh, hey, Duster. How's it going? Yeah, me neither. It was tragedical terribly. What? Yeah, good thing I didn't get to see my own wife's friggin' burial. This poor bitchy little heart. Okay. Alright, Duster. Thank you very much. I, I may be ragging on Lucas a little bit, but I really don't dislike him. I really don't. <laughs> And we're just gonna run, hang by the beach, clear our thoughts, get an ed edible mushroom, or not. You know what? Let's use one of our slightly unclean and undelicious <laughs> nut cookies. Get an edible mushroom. That only refill refills about 20 HP. Hey, it's better than nuts. This this isn't important. Now, where to now? I actually think we have to go go and visit Anawa's, Anawa's grave. That seems to be the most suitable thing to do. After getting more treasure! Nut bread? Oh, hell yeah! Ah, I have too much nuts. So I can't get any more nuts. Such a predicament. And people are just staring at me. I feel so tainted with the blood of people I didn't kill. And here's the graveyard, Nepolite. He's actually the gravedigger in this town. I know. 
Seems to be failing everyone today. Aw, oh, thanks. Good to know. Oh, Nippolite, you're so positive. For a gravedigger. Here we are. On the mountain cliff. That's... So beautiful. Overlooking the, the clouds and everything. Just clouds. Aw, Lucas. Okay. Right after I said everything was going to be okay. Now I feel like it's my fault. I, I jinxed everything. It, what happened to Klaus? Yeah, Lucas. Looking very suspicious. Oh, oh no. Say it ain't so, Lucas. Oh, damn it! Are, are you serious? Well, he is kind of hard headed. Can't deny him that. Oh, Klaus, you dumbass! You don't have to be such a douche about him. Douche to him, Alec. Jeez. Look, look what you did! Might as well punch you off of this cliff right now. Yeah, you think? There's no time to waste. As Batman would say. Hmm, a weapon? Of course I do. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, go to Alex's house, even though he's not there right now, after fetching a weapon, and also, someone is trying to kill the President of the United States. And, now we just need to go to Bronson's house, and pick up that certain weapon that he's been talking about. Instead of putting it on our mantle like we planned, we actually have a use for it. Hey, Bronson. Are you just gonna not mention me breaking out of jail? Well, yeah. Just give us <laughs> the rights to kill living things. Oh, we don't have enough space because we have so much nuts. Let's just drop an antidote. Oh, wait. Drop. Yes, there we go. Okay. Thank you very much. Blah blah. The thing that killed my wife. Thank you. And now... Before going to Alex's house, there's actually... a Thomas Bazaar. It's actually run by Mike for some reason. Okay. And actually, you can take things here for free, because there's actually no currency in this village, like, for the for right now, anyway. And what's new? Let's just drop a few things so we have enough space. Uh, another antidote. Get rid of this last nut cookie. And we can take this. A flea charm. Sure. We can just take it. We can take this running bomb. It's, it's, um... It's just a use item. You throw it at an enemy, it hits all enemies. It's it's actually pretty useful. And this is just another one of those edible mushrooms. You, you don't really need it. And one more thing! Before we go to Alex's house. Like, we can actually go over here. And here's, if you recall, this is Duster's house that Boney, that Boney went into. And if you check behind his house, there's a secret treasure! A thunder bomb. That's really good against enemies who are weak against thunder. And of course, 
Duster and Wes, which is actually, yeah. Which is, ooh, Peculiar Cheese. That's useful. Um, let's toss the stick. We actually need to um, equip that, that thing we got. Yeah, that flea charm. Three more defense. And you just you just throw away the equips that you that you don't need anymore because you can't really sell them. And now we have enough room for this peculiar cheese. See this peculiar cheese is quite peculiar, obviously. See? Restore HP restored varies from person to person. See if the person you use it on lo loves cheese. I think it'll restore 60 HP, just like beef jerky would. But if the character doesn't like cheese, I think it'll only restore about, like, 6 or, or 10 or something like that. It's totally not, u like, useful. And now that we all have all this, we can actually go to Alex's house. So we have to go through the Sunshine Forest again without any help this time. But lay, it's now it's sunshiny and well now it's not sunshiny, but it was before. Oh, how did that back attack me? At least I'll show this off. Back attack. Ow. And it's faster than me. If I recall correctly, this music has a really weird combo. But <laughs> never mind then. I gotta show off this enemy. This praying mantis. Ooh. With threatening, this must be oh. It's it's, it's a pushover. Good to know. It could get two experience and we get a nut! Nut is just Do I need to say more? Okay. Look, no more bats. That's terrific. I'm not gonna fight these these mice because it's just a waste of my time and so are these enemies and actually have you can run into flying mice in the in this area now which is actually kind of am I going the right way of course not need to go back avoid F or not see flying mouse maybe you can actually be threatening this time but I, I recommend getting ready of the bitey mighty bitey snakes first because it can poison you. Ow! No, don't attack the mouse. Okay, don't poison me. Please. See, did a combo attack? Oh, no, no! Crap! Now I have to use an antidote. Thank god I got some. Can you please just die? I would really appreciate that. Okay, three hits, that's not that's not a bad start. And that's not a bad finish either. I win level twelve. And we just need to progress no, no. Actually, before we progress into this dangerous snake territory, I think we're gonna end off the video, so it doesn't this doesn't go off go on for too long. So on the next episode, we're gonna go up to Alex's house to see what the hell he wants. So this has been Super Paper Ness signing off.